Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I've got a sweet combination of YouTube Shorts and TubeBuddy. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So first things first, have you even seen YouTube Shorts? If you look at my YouTube channel on the web, you see it starts right with uploads. But if you hit end to move to the bottom of the page, you find what are called YouTube Shorts. So my friends, these shorts are tiny videos. They gotta be less than 60 seconds and they need to be recorded in portrait mode. You can record video with your camera and assemble it later. You just need to remember that you're gonna have to stay under 60 seconds if you're building with another program. If you're using the shorts beta in the YouTube app, you're gonna have to be under 30 seconds. When they initially get built, they give you the thumbnail. These thumbnails are okay, but you probably aren't gonna get a ton of views based on their thumbnail. You can see this thumbnail has very few views in 15 hours. You can see this one where I zoomed in on Bailey and used the technique I'm about to show you already got 896 views. So this is a fantastic way to get views for your channel. So let me show you the technique. So the first step is to visit your channel, hit the drop down, and download that file. I'm gonna save it to my downloads as Puppies and Puddles. The next step is you need to have VLC. It's a free download. I'm gonna play this with VLC. Real quickly, before we grab our cool screenshot, I want you to hit Tools, and I want you to hit Preferences, and on the Video tab, pick where you're gonna put yours. I store mine in a folder called Screenshots. You may wanna pick a folder like Downloads so that you can quickly find your screenshots when you're done with this step. So my friends, I'm gonna play this in VLC really quick. When it opens up, I'm gonna find the spot that I want to use for the screenshot. So here's my cool puppy, Bailey. I'm gonna find one that's zoomed in pretty decent. It's got her face up there like I want. I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. So she's still in the puddle, and I'll be able to zoom in and make that pretty cool. Now the shortcut we're gonna use is Shift S. This downloads a screenshot that we're gonna use for the center of our thumbnail. So I also wanna find the sidebars of my thumbnail. And I'm gonna use this right here. Once again, Shift S is the shortcut. Now the third thing we're gonna use is Pixlr X. If you've never used Pixlr before, it is a free online tool. Simply type PIXLR, and then you can choose Pixlr X to launch it. Friends, we want to create a new image for our thumbnail, and we are gonna use a web 1280 by 720. When you hit Create, you can see that is a thumbnail shape. The next piece is to grab those cool images. I'm going to browse, and mine saves to that little screenshot folder. Here is the zoomed in puppy, so I'm gonna click on that one. And then I'm gonna take this and adjust it so it's even a better zoomed in picture of Bailey. So I'm stretching that out so that it's fill in the middle and looks as good as it can, so we can see that the puppy is what this video is about. So with Bailey in here, I want to use about one third of this. So I'm going to use the cutout and I'm going to go to the rectangle and I'm going to just use that shape and I'm going to cut out this chunk so that Bailey is the center third. Now friends, we need to grab the sides. I'm going to go back to add image. I'm going to browse and remember the picture was in screenshots and we're going to use this big one that had the trees and the wilderness beside it. I want to put this one on top, so I'm going to move it above. I'm gonna move it over to this side and I'm gonna stretch it because these are usually zoomed in closer. So I like that, but I want it below now so you can see it's zoomed in on that side. And then I'm gonna right click on that piece and I'm gonna duplicate it. And I'll bring it to the other side. So I don't want the tree in the exact same spot, that'd be silly. So if I go to arrange, I can flip it so that it looks like a totally different spot, zoom to a different spot, place it wherever I want, and all of a sudden I have got a nifty template for a thumbnail. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna call it Bailey and I'm gonna put Puddle. I like to save them as PNGs and then I'm gonna download this to my downloads and hit save. And hit close and let's switch back to YouTube and turn this into a sweet thumbnail. All right, friends, so now we edit. And in the editor, we simply go down to the TubeBuddy button and we wanna do the generation of a thumbnail. We are gonna use an image and we're gonna upload that image. And if we go to the downloads folder, that's where we put the Bailey Puddle image. When you bring it in, you'll see that it has the same format where it's got the center picture and then the two sides. Hit continue. I have got a template I created called Shorts. When you click on this, 
all it does is create this rectangle that is black and then I set the opacity to I think 80% you can fiddle with this as you find the correct darkness for your sides so this loads every time I can adjust it to the exact size of whatever picture I just made you can see that I'm a little bit off on this line I adjust them I adjust them and then I've also got my text that I'm going to use and I'm going to change this to say puppies and puddles because that's what this video is about so the thumbnail becomes much more clear easy for a user to see and hopefully of course gets many more views hit continue hit save and publish tell it okay and when you're done you can hit close and you should have a much more interesting YouTube short for your viewers to watch alrighty friends so there you have it awesome new thumbnail that really really highlights what my video is about and hopefully because it's more visually attractive we'll have more people watching it friends if you haven't tried TubeBuddy yet make sure you go to the description of any of these videos if you click this link right here and installs in moments you'll have instant access to 30 awesome tools including that sweet thumbnail generator Friends, I hope you have a ton of success with YouTube Shorts and your YouTube channel. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.